Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to use the FTP feature with hosting a hosting to upload and download your files. So the first thing you have to do is log into the edge panel, go to edgepanel.hostinger.com and log into your hosting account. And the second thing we need is a FileZilla software. So this is the FTP software and it is completely free. You can check the link of the software from the description. So make sure that you visit the correct website to download it. On this site, you can see multiple options to download the FileZilla client. So you have to go to the home page here. Here you will see two options, download FileZilla client and server. You have to select FileZilla client here. For Windows, you can download this client. And if you're using any other operating system, you can download it from here. From your hosting plan, go to manage, then go to files option here and go to the FTP accounts. If you cannot find this option, you can also use the search feature and make sure that you have selected the correct website if you have multiple websites connected with your hosting account. Click on this FTP accounts option and then you will see all the details. So either you can reset the FTP password to access this default account or you can create a new FTP account. For example, if you want to provide access to a new developer and you want to do it temporarily or for any other reason you want to create a new FTP account. Make sure in directory uh, this public HTML is selected and just leave it as per the default options. Then go to username, create new password, click on create. Now open the FileZilla client. You can see after installing it, it will look like this. Then we have to fill this details to connect it to the FTP server. Copy the host name, paste it here, then username and password. In port name, you can enter 21 and then click on quick connect. Click on OK. And then you will see the connection has been established. It means you have successfully managed to connect to the FTP server. Most common errors with FTP is wrong username or password. So it will show you that in red if it is not able to connect. So just make sure there is no typo and then try again. Then on the right side bar here on the remote site column, you can see all these files are from your server. And on the left side bar, you can see all these files are from our PC local site. Now I will quickly show you how to download and upload files. I will create a new directory on the remote server here. For that I will right click here, click on create directory and enter it. I will rename it demo FTP, click on OK. And you can also see this directory has been created. Okay. Now from my PC, I want to upload this file. If you want to upload multiple files, you can select them all and then right click and click on upload. But this will take a lot of time. So I will show you how to do it quickly. First option is to select all and then click on upload. So it will upload files one by one and depending on the number of files, usually it, they are a lot and uh, because of small size, it takes a lot of time. So I would recommend you to create a zip file and then right click and upload them. After uploading the zip file here, you can go back to hosting a website. From here, go to file manager, click on this option, access file of this website, go to public HTML, go to the directory where you uploaded the file. And from here, you can extract this zip file. Just right click and click on this extract option. And then you will be able to easily extract all the files. So this will be the best way. And if you want to download any file, all you have to do is simply select that file and then right click and you will see the download option. When you are trying to download a file which already exists on your local PC, it will show you an option what you want to do. If you want to replace the local file with the file from the remote server, you can select the overwrite option. So it will delete the local file and uh, replace it with the new file from the remote server. Just click OK and it will successfully download. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have any question, please post them in the comments.